Avanil Kumar and in set of two videos we will understand combination of even and odd functions. So here in the very first video on even and odd combination of functions we are considering these three basic questions. The first one is, is the sum of two even functions even, odd or neither? Second question is, is the sum of two odd functions even, odd or neither? And the third one is, is the sum of even and odd function is even, odd or neither, right? So even before beginning discussion on this, let us understand what is even function and what is an odd function, right? Let's understand that and then we'll continue with our discussion. Now, when we say even function, it really means if I take a function f of x, then f of minus x is equals to f of x. This is even function. However, if I have a function which is let's say g of x and I say g of minus x is equals to minus g of x, in that case, it becomes an odd function. Now, to experiment with this, what we will do is we'll consider two different functions. Let us say we'll take f of x as an even function and e of x as even function so that e of minus x is equals to e of x and we'll have g and o of minus x equals to minus o x odd function. So, so we have now two examples of even functions and two odd functions, right? So for this exercise, what we are considering is these four functions, right? So we have these four functions out of which two of them are even and two of them are odd. And now let us exercise what these examples. So the first one here is sum of two even functions. That means if we have, let us say, sum of two functions, s of x equals two, uh, and we will consider two functions which are even, right? Sum of two even functions. That means these two, right? So let us say sum is f of x plus e of x. Now, we have to figure out whether this is even or odd, right? So what we will do here is we will just write down what happens if I make f of minus x plus e of minus x, right? In that case, since both are even, we know f of minus x is f of x, right? And e of minus x is e x. What do we get? We actually get s of x, right? So we started with s of minus x, correct? And we got s of x. Therefore, it is even, is it okay? So we know it is even. Therefore, we can conclude that if we do sum of even functions, then we always get even function. Now, let us do the same exercise with two odd functions. So, this time we will consider sum of two odd functions and these two functions for us are g of x and o of x, right? o of x. Now, we will see whether we again get, what do we get? We get odd or even. So when we add these two functions, let's see what do we get for s of minus x, which is g of minus x plus o of minus x. Now we know g of minus x is minus g of x and o of minus x is minus o of x, right? So what we can do is we can take minus outside. So we get g of x plus o of x which is same as minus of s of x. So since s of minus x is minus of s of x, we can conclude that this is odd, right? So that combination will always give us odd function. Now let's check with the third combination, which in our case is one even and one odd, right? So let's say s of x we are doing sum of two functions. One of them is even, right? So that is, let us say f of x plus g of x. g of x for us is odd. In that case, we have to see what is s of minus x. So if I write, I could write this as f of minus x plus g of minus x. Since f of x is even, we could write this as f of x. 
and g of x is odd so we get minus g of x now this is neither f of x plus g of x nor it is negative of that and therefore in this particular case we get neither as our result right and therefore we can conclude that if we have even and odd combination then the function is neither right so that is the conclusion for combination of functions right as you know if I give you a polynomial function as an exercise let's say h of x equals to x cubed plus x then you know since both are odd it should be an odd function right on the other hand if I say p of x equals to x square plus 2 here both are even functions right and therefore we have this combination as even on the other hand if I give you a function as m of x is equals to 2x plus 1, this is neither, right? So that is how also you can figure out where, what kind of combinations give you what kind of results. So if every element, every term is odd, then their sum is going to be odd, right? If all the elements are even, for example, if I extend this, writing it like this, it still remains even, right? Here also, I can write x to the power of 5. Even then, it will be odd, correct? In this case, it is neither since we have combination of odd and even, right? So, this is even since x to the power of 0. Do you understand? So, that is how we can conclude. So, in short, if we are considering sum of two functions and if both are even, then their sum is even. If both are odd, then their sum is odd. If one is even and one is odd, then they are neither. So that is what we conclude. In the next video, we will see what happens when the functions, when we are looking into product of functions. I hope that helps. Thank you.